Hello there fellow string slingers, Brad and Valentine here, and welcome back to another episode of Solos for Beginners, where we take you through 10 different solos that will help push you out of the nest and help you find your voice on the fretboard. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at the sassy solo from Easy by Faith No More. This solo revolves around a reoccurring theme, so the mysteries of this piece will unravel themselves to you faster than you think. And of course, don't forget to check out the other nine solos on this list, so that like obnoxious little Pokemon, you can collect them all. So without further ado, onwards to Easy by Faith No More. Guitar! <laughs> Starting off with your ring finger on the 13th fret of the A string, we're going to hit it, bend it up quickly, and then put it right back to where it belongs, followed by a little pull off to the 11th fret on the A string. Brilliant. And then we're going to jump up the octave with our ring finger to the 13 on the G string. Oh, nice. So what you're going to do once you get to that G string, is you're gonna hold it and hold it hard. Then, and then we're gonna slide up as far as you can in one nice sultry movement, even going off the fretboard if you so choose. Except my Les Paul won't allow me to get up there. And then back to the same bend as the start, the 13 on the A string with a quick bend, then to the 11, except we're gonna hit the 11 twice this time before sliding down from the 13th fret on the low E. Just as low as you can go. Brilliantly done, all involved. Very proud of you. So that means so far, this is what we have. Nice and simple, but mean and well-spirited. Brilliant! So that's the first phrase of this solo done, and I'm gonna give you one guess where we're gonna start the next phrase of this solo. You've, you've guessed correctly. Except after this time, we're going to jump straight up to the 16 on the B string. Bending it up a whole tone. Which is, in itself, this is going to be a bit of an odd one for you because not only is it a bit of a reach, you don't want to do this with your pinky because you're going to need a bit of strength to get a nice good bend on. But the thing you're going to have to watch is that you're going all the way from the A string to the B string with your right hand. And you don't want to be hitting wrong strings on the way because that's where it's going to get messy. Once we've bent up that note a full tone, we're going to do the exact same thing on the 11 on the B string, then hit the 9, then the 11 on the G string, 10, 8, and then a little swift slide away for fun. right back with your ring finger on the 10 on the D string rolling down to hit the 10 on the G string and then with your forefinger 8 on the G and then resolving on the 10 on the D string again with your ring finger and then hold on to that one and shake it in time with the snare hits bum, 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 bum. for the next phrase of this solo I get to deliver you some really good news. It is exactly the same as the first phrase, so we're just going to repeat that whole phrase. <laughs> so, starting off the fourth phrase of this solo, we're going to do exactly what we did at the start of the second, being going up to that 16 for the full tone bend. But, once we're done that bend, we're going to stay on that 16 for a few more notes. We're going to stay there for another note and a bend. And then using our middle finger, we quickly bend the 15 on the G string. 16 on the B. Then again, bending the 15 up a whole tone. Except, we're going to hold it there while we hit the 16 quickly on the B. Bringing it back down. Pulling off to the 13 and then... 15 on the G.
And that's going to be followed by hammering on twice from the 13 to the 15 on the D string and then reversing it once. A little quick rest and then... A nice big old resolve on the 16th fret of the B string. Yes! Awesome, so now that we've made it to the end of that solo, let's go through it again one more time, but just slowly. Congratulations on getting through another solo, all you wonderful beings out there. Now, a few little quick things to take from this solo. A mindfulness of your accuracy when bending. Make sure that you're not going too far out of the note. And also accuracy when you're skipping strings, particularly with your right hand. Now, that can be a bit tricky, especially when you're getting to points where you're skipping across three strings of distance. Besides that, enjoy yourself. And of course, don't forget to check out the other videos in this series. And for the love of all that is holy, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be frequented with more guitar-based shenanigans. Uh, 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 see you next time, everybody. <laughs>